There are some soldiers in the United States Army that might wear a tab either on the left or the right shoulder of the Army combat uniform. So let's talk about tabs on the Army uniform. What's up friends? Welcome to an all new video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about tabs. These are tabs that could be on the left sleeve or the right sleeve of a soldier's uniform for the combat uniform. And it really just kind of depends on if it's a unit they went to combat with or if it's a special skill that they earned. But don't worry, we'll dive into the differences of the different types of tabs in this video. So it is important to note that there are two different types of tabs that could be worn on a soldier's uniform. Those of which individual tabs that they've earned through a special skill or a course, and those that are assigned to that unit to identify some kind of special kind of skill, I guess, for that unit, you might say. Now, before I dive into breaking down some of these different tabs, we gotta give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Armed Forces Mobile. Armed Forces Mobile is a prepaid month-to-month -month cell phone service that offers several plans, including unlimited everything for only $55 a month. They offer different plans as well as cell phones on the nation's fastest 4G LTE network. But best of all, 10% of all their proceeds go towards their nonprofit that helps out our nation's veterans as well as first responders. So if you're looking for a cell phone service or maybe looking to change things up from your current provider, check out www.myafmobile.com slash chaos. I'll also leave a link down in the description so you click on that sucker. So first we're gonna be breaking down some of the individual tabs you might see on a soldier. These are tabs that maybe a soldier earned through a special course or some sort, but it's also important to note whether it's unit or whether it is individual, there is a maximum of three tabs that can be worn at one time. So it can't get all crazy and just stack up like super high. Three is going to be the max that a soldier can wear at one given time. So let's start off and let's kind of talk about these in the order of precedence. So the first one at the very top is the Special Forces tab. This is a tab that is awarded to soldiers that have completed the Q course or the Special Forces Qualification course. Now I've talked about it in my Special Forces video, you have like SFAS, which is kind of a selection thing. Once you go past selection, then you go to the Q course. And once you pass the Q course, that is when an individual would be awarded that Special Forces tab. Not for passing SFAS, but for passing the Q course. This is also how you can identify who is in the Special Forces as actually someone who has gone through the Q course course compared to someone who is just simply in one of these special forces groups. As you might see soldiers walking around that have that special forces unit patch on, but if they don't additionally have that special forces tab, then they're simply maybe a part of support for special forces of some sort, not actually an individual that has gone through like the Q course and is actually a special forces soldier. Next, let's talk about that Ranger tab, and that one is a tab that is awarded to soldiers that complete Ranger school. This does not necessarily mean the soldier is in the Rangers or is a Ranger, I guess it depends on your wording, but most commonly soldiers are referred to as being a Ranger if they are in the 75th Rangers, and if they have a Ranger tab, they're just Ranger qualified or they've been to the Ranger qualification school. There are some soldiers that are actually a Ranger in the 75th Ranger Regiment that also have a Ranger tab because they've also gone to the school, but there's also some individuals that don't go to the 75th Rangers because they haven't gone through RASP, but have gone to Ranger school and have earned the Ranger tab. So that's kind of important to note. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily consider someone who has a Ranger tab as being an actual Ranger. That just means they've been to Ranger school. So that's how an individual would end up wearing this Ranger tab is if they have gone to Ranger school. Next is the Sapper tab, and this is awarded to a soldier that has been through Sapper school. So to get this tab, soldiers go through this special course. It's kind of like a high-speed engineering course that also includes a lot of demolition. I think that's kind of one of the heavy things that they are focusing on during Sapper school is demolition stuff, you know, blowing stuff up. But that individual that has gone through that course and completed that course would be authorized to wear that Sapper tab. Next up, you have the President's 100 tab that is awarded to a soldier that has competed in this kind of like really cool, I guess, marksmanship competition. And if you've qualified in the top 100, then you're authorized to wear this tab. Now, at some point in time, I will do a video on the President's 100 and what is involved with that qualification and that competition that is done yearly. But this is a tab you don't see too often. There's, you know, not a lot of people walking around with that President's 100 tab because, you know, you have to qualify in that top 100 of that competition and it is done yearly though. I'll also be doing a video at some point on Sapper School. I've already done one on the Ranger tab as well as Special Forces, but I will at some point get to those. Maybe they're already up if you're watching this in the future though. Now there are a few other tabs that are individual tabs and I'm not gonna go in depth with those ones because these ones are only specific to the National Guard. So not saying the National Guard isn't important, but it only applies to individuals in the National Guard. But they have these different governor type of tabs that can be worn by individuals in the National Guard that have done a certain thing to earn this tab. 
So next, let's talk about some of the unit tabs that you might see on a soldier. These tabs are not necessarily something that a soldier has earned, but just to kind of emphasize a special purpose for this unit you might think of it as. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is the airborne tab. This tab will be worn by a soldier that is any unit that's designated as an airborne unit. So 101st, 82nd, there's several different units that have that, but above like their unit patch would be this airborne tab to signify that this unit that they are in is an airborne unit. This does not necessarily signify the individual is actually airborne qualified. In most cases, it kind of go hand in hand because most people that are airborne qualified are in airborne units, but that's not always the case. So additionally, if they were airborne qualified, they would have the airborne wings on their uniform if they have it sewn on. And if for some reason they just don't have it sewn on, then I guess it doesn't show. But for the most part, just because an individual is airborne qualified doesn't mean they automatically wear that tab. They only wear that tab in a unit that is an airborne unit. Same goes for like the rest of these, which the next one is a mountain tab. The mountain tab is mainly specific to the 10th Mountain Division, and it's really like a historical thing. The, because of the unit being where they are, you know, it's kind of a lot, got a lot of this mountain warfare. They actually have a, a school for mountain warfare that you don't necessarily get a tab for it, but when you're a part of that unit, you wear that tab. And then there's one that's fairly newish, and that is the advisor tab. And that one is specifically worn by the SFAB. And SFAB stands for the Security Forces Advisory Brigade. It's a fairly new kind of thing that just started, I think, last year or the year before last. So it's a pretty new kind of unit that has recently come into the Army for this special skill. I'll also at some point in time be doing a video on SFAB to tell you a little bit more about how this unit operates, but they're essentially like advisory. They go to other countries to help train the local nationals in that area, and that is kind of their primary role is an advisor kind of position. Next up is the Honor Guard tab, and this tab will be worn by individuals that are a part of the Honor Guard. Now the Honor Guard is a like a special unit for like ceremonies, maybe it might be for a parade, for a retirement ceremony, for a military funeral. There's a lot of different reasons when the Honor Guard would be kind of called up to do some kind of special ceremony. But these soldiers that are part of that Honor Guard unit would be wearing that tab on their uniform. And then the last tab that we'll talk about here is the Band tab. This tab would be worn by an individual that is a part of the army band because yes, you can join the army, play an instrument and be assigned to a different unit that is a part of the army band. There are different units across the globe, so it depends on what unit you're with as far as which tab you might wear. But the army band does have their own specific tab that if a soldier is a part of the army band, then they wear that tab. So that is really the available tabs that a soldier could possibly wear, whether it's for individual or for the unit. There's also some tabs that are, you know, kind of not used anymore that, you know, used to exist back in the day. I don't know if I have anybody out there that maybe used to wear like the Jungle Expert one or the Air Assault tab, but there's those ones and a couple other ones that have been phased out. If I have any viewers out there that are currently in the Army or maybe some veterans that wore a tab or do wear a tab on their uniform, love to hear about it down in the comments, whether it be an individual tab or a unit tab. I would imagine probably the most common one would be individuals that maybe were an airborne unit, had the airborne unit tab, but leave some comments down below as far as which tabs you might have worn or currently wear on your uniform. If you have additional questions about tabs in the United States Army on the uniform, make sure to leave those questions down below and I'll do my best to answer the ones that I can. So there you go, hopefully you enjoyed that video. If so, slap a like on it. Check out some recommended videos right over there. Some links down in the description for my social media, also the sponsor of this video, Armed Forces Mobile. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Christopher Chaos and I'll see you next time. See ya.